The year was 1605 when a man named Guy Fawkes bent Parliament to the ground. Such an act resulted in the yearly 5th of November tradition known as Bonfire Night. Remember, remember the 5th of November, they would say. In actuality, you should remember, remember the 17th to the 22nd of July. That's right, we are loosely, not exactly, retelling the story in the present day. Instead of one Guy Fawkes, there's now 21 Guy Fawkes. Foxes. This is the story of the show reproduction of the 20 Stories High Youth Theatre show called Are You Out There World? Well, are you? Enough of that. Let's start with Monday. We started out with a warm-up game called Eyes Down, Eyes Up. You lose if you lock eyes with another person in a circle. So we were left being Ollie, Catherine and Danelle. But wait, who the hell even are Ollie, Catherine and Danelle? What is your favourite moment in the show? I think at the end, the spell with all the ants. What is the name of your character? Jake. Who is your favourite character in the show? Jake. He's here. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm very straight. I no discrimination to LGBTQ, by the way. Why did you put that Jackson? <laughs> yeah, why would you need to specify this information? Wow. No discrimination to LGBTQ. I'm your own person. I'm gay. You're on your own person. Uh, we cast a spell and we turn in all the MPs into ants, and it's fun. Spoilers. <laughs> yes, my favourite moment. That's my favourite moment. You're so mean. Other than yourself. Crystal meth lady. Can you name uh, three gay people? Elton John. Monday was kind of just there for everyone to get a refresher in the blocking in the lines. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go through the entire show, so that bled into Tuesday. The nerves were very high, but hey, look at this cool hallway. It's nice, right? Uh, anyway, here's more of a look at the cast. What is your character's name? My character's name is Liv. My character's name is Will, aka William, aka Will I Am, aka Big Will. What a nerd. When I asked that question, I thought you were going to say Andrew, because I thought your character's name was Andrew. I forgot your real name was Andrew. My character's what name is Izzy. Elijah. Sophie. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, my name is Federico. My character name is Tristan. Um, my <laughs> you, look so, you look so bad on camera. <laughs> wow! wow. Joking, joking. Proceed, proceed. <laughs> What's your character name? My character's name is Melody. Jesse. Kyle. Peter. Yeah. My character's oh, name is Sage. My character name is Ari. B. And what about their favourite characters? Who's your favourite character? Uh, my favourite character is um, Peter. Probably Tristan because he's gesturing right behind me. That's to say Tristan. Funny? Is he a funny character? Yeah, he is. He's so fun. Hmm. I think my favorite character might be Alex. Me? No. Everyone. Is there a specific reason why? Oh, when I like, I like my the group of girls I'm singing with because they're all really cool. Uh, so do you know their characters and names are? No. <laughs> do, you know their, do, you, uh, do you know their actual names? Oh, yeah. Jemima, Jenna, Natalia, Freya, and me. Um, I think my least favorite character is probably I don't know, I, 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 Tristan, I, I, not, but the favorite is um whatever's Lewis character is. Peter. Peter. Wow. Peter. 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 Peter.
I don't know. I don't think I have one. Yet. I mean, Tristan's quite good. Okay. Right answer. What about uh, Kevin? Kevin. I, I heard That's Kevin's good. good. Kevin's good. Um, he tries to be funny, but he's, he's he's good. He's good. Let's just say that. Okay, I'll Ooh. accept it. Ryan. Why Brian? Brian's a cool guy. Oh, oh, Brian. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's my favorite. It's a good question that, you know. Um, it would have to be, I'm not aware of the name, but Jackson's character. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin McAllister. Yep. Home Alone. Yep. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Yep, that. Yep. What he said. Can I ask you three questions sure. very quickly? What's your character's name? Alex. Who is your favourite character in the show? Izzy. Never mind. Oh, f I guess we're finally starting the attacking. The attacking is basically another run through of the show, but this time working with the stage lights, occasional fog, and the big screen at the back. It's what makes the entire show come together, so big kudos goes to the tech crew. Thanks to them, scenes like this. Why? Oh. oh. Comes out like this. Additionally, we also have captions for accessibility purposes, with the first show additionally having a BSL interpreter. Small changes that we've made tech-wise and moments-wise. Tonight, first of all, we have a BSL interpreted show, so... What does that mean? Stands for British Sign Language, by the way. But I'm getting too far ahead of myself. We still have the dress of hair salon Wednesday to do. Except, we still haven't finished the teching for the show yet. Remember when I said the nerves were getting high? While everything was going on, however, we all still had fun during breaks. So enjoy some fun, edited clips of most of the antics over the course of the week. Backstage, backstage, no time it is. No. Yeah, with the nail, it's kind of nervous. Why? Because I don't know my lines. Why? Because I've got too much stuff to do. I have a good idea for what you should do with your hair. I'm not speaking. Wow. Okay, no, well, let me interview you. Are you mentally prepared? Yeah. Can I hold the camera? I'm not this friend. No, no. wrong answer. Okay, you can, you can hold the camera. Okay, let, let's, interview, let's interview the actors. So, so here we have Jackson. Jazz is going to read out all the names of each entrance. So. Upstage left entrance is. Upstage left. Eric, Fred, Marid, Milo, Natalia, Rosie, and Tia. If you think I've got this wrong, that is very much a possibility. What is your favourite moment in the show? One of them. This is the better vlog, am I right? I'll What's like your, that one. Don't what are your current scared. thoughts right now? I'm scared. I have an inhaler, so I'm feeling very asthmatic. What if I walk them? Um, my asthmaticness. It's, yeah. it's almost like I was born with it. Do you want to come through the secret tunnel? Oh, yeah. Do you want to follow us through the secret yeah. tunnel? Right. right, welcome to the backstage. Welcome to the back room, guys. Um, we have a door. We have some we have some baby seats which we should admire the when they're not behaving. Yeah, um, oh, Cobb, just like, pop me in one, that would be really funny. Oh, I'm sorry, Cobb, we're just like, why am I here? Where are you? We're just supposed to be helping take my look in. Oh, we were doing, I'm, I'm doing Jackson's. Oh, yeah. We're going to get a video. It's me and the best character, Martha. <laughs> buy your tickets. No, it's not. 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 Don't use this for anything. You're not, fixed, it's not live streaming, is it? No. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I hope so. Can you join me? What, what's funny? What are you doing? Um, Just put the fist up for the black officer. What's funny? Black officer. Yeah, I know. This is unfortunate. I know that. I know that. I know I have my show pony. Is it does it have to does it have to be gay like homosexual? Yeah, you just like three gay people. Um, James okay, Charles. um, James. So no, not James. No, I'm saying James Charles. James Charles is gay though. So yeah, but they don't accept. They don't accept him. No, he's yeah, he's gay though, isn't he? He's so homosexual. He's a yeah, homosexual. So Freddie Mercury, James Charles. Well, no, actually, no, that's wrong. Because Freddie Mercury is bisexual. That's not Mama. Bad. That can't go. That can't just count because of the party. Right. <laughs> All right, cool. Jemima, all the people now, you know. Jackson. Um, oh, back out there. Leo's you. gonna give me a back massage now. Okay. I can tell the future. See that. And now he's gonna hit me so hard. I, I can. I and now Tia's is gonna look confused. I wasn't even looking at you though. She don't even know what we're talking about. I'm a I fortune teller. And now Lewis is gonna breathe. He's gonna breathe for ten minutes straight. I can also tell the future. Oh, you breathe. Yeah, here's what I can see happening. I can see Leon. Come. And now Leon's gonna do a backflip. <laughs> Psych. Wait, I just realized it's giving you a contact. Get it? Yeah. Oh, you got eye contact. Look up. And now she's gonna have eye contact then. Here you go, my lady. Oh. And now the camera's gonna automatically, randomly, and majestically pan to you. Wow! <laughs> fortune teller to you. And now Leon's gonna stop and I'm gonna say thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's just end this video. Oh, you vlogging? Some people buy them, need them gone. Hands, hands, hands. Everybody ready on stage? With the teching done, it was now time to do the dress rehearsal. If any mistakes were to happen, now is the time to make those mistakes. As I'm writing this, it's been a few weeks since the show and looking back, I'm more and more realising how underprepared we were. After the dress rehearsal, we got notes. I filmed nearly all of it. What I did film was up to the length of 20 minutes. So there's bits in between all the group scenes where you're all moving from one thing to another. I, I took this note right before the Rishi Sunak letters, um, where you've got lots of blocking and lots of people are moving around. Don't get too quick, you're all going really quiet. I know you're focusing on doing the blocking right, but let's get a little bit of excitement. You know what's coming next, it's the letters. You know that you've written letters, you know what the letters say. So let's get a little bit of rumble and excitement. Feel free to improv around those sections. Even if it is that you're standing next to someone, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to read my letter. I'm like, oh, I've got to show you what I wrote. Just so that we, because otherwise it just goes, and then all we hear is, <laughs> <laughs> but like 30,000 footsteps. Mira, don't say improv, because I'll be trying to go backwards. <laughs> You'll just stand no there and backwards. Physical backwards. improv. <laughs> 24 hours after would be roughly around the time the first show ended. Nerves? <laughs> They're so far high that they are now through the roof. I am being hypothetically crushed by the fallen debris of Liverpool's Unity Theatre. Tonight is the first night of the show, All You Out There World. Are you excited? Very excited, I can't wait. 22 of us are going to come and see you tonight, Jackson. Well, 22 of you are going to watch 21 of us 
Um, I'm not sure if I miscounted. Uh, is there anything you're hoping to see? Uh, I think I'm hoping to see like a great show with strong message, very strong political views, and proof that our youth have got purpose and value for the future. Yeah. All right then. Uh, this is fine. We got given some Domino's pizza and with around two hours left before the fair show begins, we got ready for a vocal warm-up. <laughs> this is just projecting insanity. Fair show night, what are your thoughts? Um, petrified. You're petrified? Is there a reason why? Um, well, I never won my land, but the thing is, I got to say my land and it would come out like this, that's it. That's how I intend it. Ah. I guess it's a matter of um, honing in to your actual emotions and then applying it, but like fake. I mean, I guess I described what acting is, but... Oh boy! This is it! The fair show! It's happening! Oh my gee willikers, it's happening! Is this for your life? If I punch myself, will I bruise? This is the first night of Are You Up There World! Yeah, actually that clip was from a Tekken rehearsal. I can't really show you the clips from the show. I don't have the footage. But what I can share is everything that happened literally once we left the stage at the end. We're asking you all to make a gift to support 20 Story Times Youth Theatre. We have buckets for change, but look out for zombie Maggie Thatcher. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again for being an amazing audience and have a great night. <laughs> Because do you forgot yours? <laughs> Alright, tomorrow we have a next show. We can do legal aid things together. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Uh, chaos. Chaos. I think it went fine enough, but... Scene 7. Oh, what was scene 7? Absolutely blanked. So, if it wasn't clear, we just did the first night of our show. I got changed into my civilian clothes. And, um... Now, I uh, told... I almost said to meet here and at the quarter. Night two is here and man. 
people were not happy, were they? Well, you know what they say. Second time's a charm, I guess. Though, I realized I didn't get to properly explain the show. Wait, what was the show called again? Oh yeah, that's right! Anyway, for instance, here are three important things you may have noticed. Number one, why am I wearing a zombie Margaret Thatcher head? When I first read the script, I also was wondering what the inspiration was, so I'm just as confused as you are. Number two, why are people wearing security guard and helmet attires? Well, all 21 of us are trying to break into Parliament. My character instead tries to dress up as a ghost of an infamous Prime Minister. Number three, why are these two characters, Martha and B, standing next to each other? What? You didn't question that? How am I trying to segue into a series of interview clips to let you in on this behind the scenes in joke to cover for the fact that these characters didn't have real development so we had to manufacture it as much as possible? God, that's a mouthful. Um, B and Martha but together because their friendship is really Martha. Why Martha? Because I'm in love with Martha. I, I don't know actually. There's quite a few different ones that's not known. Martha! Yeah, <laughs> Martha! <laughs> what is your favourite moment in the show? Um, when I stand next to Martha. Uh, do you want to elaborate? Um, I stand next to her in most of the show, so... Yeah, um, we talk a lot in the show. Uh, Rosie, who plays um, Ari, uh, has talked about um, your character's uh, friendship with Martha yes. in, uh, in great detail. Mm -hmm. uh, care to uh, comment? Um, is it just a friendship? We don't know. Um, oh, yeah. It's your interpretation. Um, I, but I, know my, I know my interpretation. Mm -hmm. um, mine and B's big fight. Who is your favourite character in the show? Um, either B or Izzy. <laughs> So, um, so you talked about like your character in B's uh, character's fight. So there's been multiple people that have uh, commented yeah. on um, your and B's friendship. Yeah. We're the great, we're the best characters. Let's go to roommates. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. history will say we were roommates. Uh, we were talking about it. it just makes sense. Okay. Patiently awaiting for when the show gets released online so Maraid or someone can edit one of those Gen Z fan cams and release it on TikTok. Anyway, do you want to see what a changing room looks like? So this is the changing room. There you go. Man, I sure am glad to have picked the most useful concepts to film. Anyway, do you want to see the whole cast come together? Hands in for night two? So, here we go. Shall we put the hands in? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Sure, I got buried yesterday, I don't want to repeat it. Excuse me, can I go? I'm sorry. Very homoerotic. Everyone's getting in. Why are you doing all this? Night two, over. One more night to go? Wow, where did the time go? Well, one more night to create the best performance we possibly can. The culmination of... Wait, I might need a reminder. Are you out there, the culmination of Are You Out There World begins now. To wait here. You don't shake on the left hand. Yeah. Just came back from the gym. Ah. I'm the next Spider Man is Tom Holland's. He's starring in different movies now. Someone has to step up. I just came back from Starbucks. Really? Yeah. When? When? Like 10 minutes ago. When did I ask? 
Oh. Oh. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, my phone is on 1%. Damn. I feel like a loser. Well. I'm not supposed to leave. Oh. I, uh, I completely disagree. Amy, who plays Liv, had gotten everyone to sign cards for the staff members as a nice thank you. There is no footage proof, but in every card I decided to link my YouTube asking for them to subscribe. They didn't subscribe. But you can! It's completely free and while you're at it, you can hit the like button and comment down below because it helps with the algo. Oh wow. Cheese and onion crisps, huh? Mmm. I want it. I'm staring. Endlessly staring. I want the crisps! Oh god, this is the only way we can crank up the tension for the climax. We need more drama! Let's cut to more drama! Hello, I'm in the dressing room getting changed for the final night of the show. And I seem to have a shirt missing. I don't know where it is. I eventually found that shirt. Damn it! We need more interesting things to happen! Uh... Oh! Yes! It was Talia's birthday that day. Except I didn't get to actually film the happy birthday song. Only what happened right after, which is what you just witnessed. And she was one of the few people that didn't even get interviewed. Okay, this is fine. I need more of the big drama. Fred died. He didn't. He's still alive. Probably will. Actually, he also made a video on his channel. So after you've seen this, go watch his and tell him that you liked my one more. Because it contains such a narrative of a video that doesn't get to end with an actual huge climax. Well, yes, we did the show. The show is done. All three nights, the 17th to the 22nd, this is all done. Everything concluded in the post-show jam where people got to show their singing talents. I didn't sing because I did spoken word poetry. So, yeah, that was the full behind the scenes of the show week production of Are You Out There World? Whether or not the show was a success, doesn't matter. The experience was so f good. Audiences loved it, stressful moments here and there, but that's what makes everything so cathartic when it all comes together. Wrapped up in a bow. I don't know what wrapped up in a bow means, but I'm doubling down. Special thanks to Kat, who used Fred's as camera and filmed other things that I didn't. They unfortunately couldn't be part of the show, but I'm glad they were willing to do that. Also, I guess, thanks to Fred for giving me the footage. Another thanks to Kat and Rebecca Oliver for taking photos during the first show night and dress rehearsal respectively. Thanks to my co-stars for willing to even be in this video. There's not really a point in doing a behind the scenes when the people in question aren't part of it. Anyway, my name is Jackson and I played Kevin in Are You Out There World? And I guess this is how I'm ending this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. That was a voice crack.